Hello guys, it is Everything You Pan here, and we are here with a quick tutorial. And in this video, I am going to be showing you guys how to install or enable Hyper-V in Windows 10. Now there is a process to do this in Windows 7, um, and I can make a tutorial on that later on if you guys would like. But this is going to help me with some future tutorials, and um, it's a quick process on Windows 10, but like I said, it's a harder process on Windows 7 so again let me know if uh, any of you guys that are still using Windows 7 would like to use Hyper-V um, basically what it is is another uh, type of uh, platform where you can create virtual machines and things like that if you don't want to use VirtualBox or VMware um, now there could run into some issues if you have VirtualBox or VMware installed already and you want to use Hyper-V and I'll get into that in a little bit here what we're going to go ahead and do is just go ahead and go down to the search. Uh, let me make this full screen for you. Um, we're going to go down to the search and we're going to type in turn windows and then it'll come up with turn windows features on or off. Um, if it doesn't come up, just type in the entire thing and then hit enter or click on it to open it up. And it's going to come up with a window here to turn windows features on or off. And when the Two th and the things here we're going to want to select is we're going to want to click the checkbox on Hyper-V and you're also going to want to uh, open up this little part here and you're going to want to open up, uh, actually I think, yeah no it won't let you select it, so you're going to open up Hyper-V platform as well and you're going to select Hyper-V services as well and you can minimize that and then you're going to go ahead and scroll down and also enable uh, virtual machine platform and this is platform support for virtual machines you enable this as well go ahead and click OK it's going to search for the required files and then apply changes and then once it is finished applying these changes it should ask you to reboot now it may not for me because I've done this before I've like installed this before um, but we'll see here. Yes, it did actually uh, ask me to reboot. So um, you're going to want to restart. And you might want to wait to do that until the tutorial is done just in case. Unless you want to do that and then bring it back up. Up to you. But it does require a restart of your machine. And it's going to work on updates here. Um, and then, you know, when it gets to the 30% mark, it will shut down and then reboot here and it's gonna take it's gonna take a little bit longer since it's on a virtual machine for me um, if it's on your normal machine it may go quicker um, but here you can see Windows 10 is loading back up and when we load Windows 10 back up we will go ahead and um, open up the Hyper-V uh, manager. It's going to work on features here for getting Hyper-V and the other things installed on your system. And then it should allow you to log back in. So I'll let this run here and I'll come back when I'm at the desktop. It may reboot once more as it just did for me. Um, so if it reboots twice uh, don't worry, it will uh, come back up the second time. So once again, I will come back once I hit the uh, desktop. And now here we are back at the desktop here after the reboot process has been finished. So now what we can go ahead and do is go back down to the search here in the bottom and type in Hyper-V. And it should come up here with Hyper-V Manager. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And it should bring up the manager here. You can see when it finally loads everything up, you have the option here to create some new virtual machines and things like that. And that is the quick process on how to enable Hyper-V. And now what I'm going to show you is uh, some commands that will um, help with the process if you have both Hyper-V and VirtualBox installed you cannot use both at the same time so if you want to dedicate yourself to VirtualBox or uh, Hyper-V you gotta choose between one or the other and um, 
because if you try to use Hyper-V um, and VirtualBox at the same time, one of them will not work depending on which uh, uh, option you have turned on in this uh, command. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. I'm going to go ahead and open up a command prompt and run it as an administrator. And um, in here, we're going to type in the command bcd edit. And then you can see at the bottom down here, hypervisor launch type. Right now it is set to auto. It can either be set to auto or off. If it's set to auto, this will allow Hyper-V to work. If it's set to off, Hyper-V will not work and VirtualBox and VMware will work again. It's because of the certain technology or the certain type of thing that Hyper-V uses. It has its own thing. Uh, it's different from uh, VirtualBox or VMware. So when it's set to auto, you have to keep it on for Hyper-V to work. If you want to use VirtualBox or VMware, you have to turn it off. So here I'm gonna pull up some commands and this, uh, I can include this in the description if you'd like. Um, but what you, what you would do is you would open up the command prompt as an admin and you type in one of these following two commands and then you would reboot after entering the command. So if you want to use VirtualBox and it's already set to auto like it says here, you would type in this command or you could copy paste it. It's bcd edit forward slash set hypervisor launch type off and there are spaces in between there as you can see and that is to turn off the hypervisor and then to use Hyper-V, and this will not allow you to use VirtualBox or VMware at the time, you uh, type in bcd edit dash set or forward slash set hypervisor launch type auto. This will turn it on so that it will allow you to use Hyper-V. So I will include these in the description in case you guys ever need these. Um, and it could be possible that could happen. So. Um, so there you go. That is a quick little tutorial here on how to enable Hyper-V in Windows 10. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to help here for some future videos um, as I will show you guys how to install some certain operating systems in this program. So be sure to leave a like if this video helped you out. And um, also, if any of you have any ideas on what I should do for future videos, like any operating systems you want me to install in VirtualBox, VMware, and now even Hyper-V, Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, if you're watching this for the first time, watching one of my videos for the first time, and you're not yet subscribed, be sure to do so and click the post notification bell if you want to be notified for every new video I upload or when I stream. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.